Hi everyone, welcome back. It's been a while. In this video, I'll be doing the PG Gundam Xia resin kit by San Sang Studio. And if you have watched my older videos, you would know that I've painted a PG Xia before, albeit just the inner frame because I had the clear armor parts for it. But if you haven't seen it, don't watch it, because it looks cool back then, but it definitely needs an update. And that's why I love resin kits sometimes, as they replace the older parts with the better detailed ones. So yes, I'll be refurbishing this clear armor Xia. It is just a bit counterintuitive to, you know, buy the clear armor part and then paint over it, but oh well. And this project is also a commission by Calvin in the US, so thank you for making this possible. So let's unbox the resin kit. First look, yes, it does come with a case, which is very nice to have. And inside, you get the instructions and water slides, which I'll get into later. But let's look at the resin first. And I don't know if you can see, but the details are very crisp. And actually, there aren't a lot of parts for the PG kit, which makes it quite beginner friendly. And also the cost of this kit is very cheap too, at about £60 or £75 USD. Making it probably the cheapest PG detail kit out there. And the quality isn't bad at all. Here are the water slides, which is just a normal set from EVIL. After that, you get the instructions. The first few pages are the parts list and the photos of where the parts go. And like I said before, there aren't a lot of parts, so the assembly is not very complicated. And since it's just a detail kit, you can just refer to the Bandai manual if you need a step-by-step -step assembly guide. After that, you get a few pictures of the painter kit for reference. But funny enough, they didn't show the weapons here. But either way, let's get the kits assembled. So I just want to take this opportunity to announce that I will be taking a break from doing commissions and painting, only for like a couple of weeks or more. But I'm not taking a break from modeling though. In fact, I'll be doing some streams of snap building the mechanical EXS, hopefully in the coming days, so there will definitely still be content here, just not painting for a while. But I'm still taking commissions in the meantime, so don't hesitate to contact me if you're interested. But anyway, back to the kit. So like I said, this kit isn't very complicated, as they are mostly the same parts with only extra scribing details. So in terms of fitting, it was very straightforward. And the casting quality is quite good too, as I didn't have to do much describing. But of course still, you have to sand everything, like you usually do with resin kits. Here is the kit assembled, and you can see the resin parts cover most of the kit. And I actually quite like that it doesn't go all out in changing the look of the original kit. It just ups the detail a little. But before painting it, I needed to remove the old paint job that I did on the plastic parts. In here I used some Mr. Color Thinner and isopropyl alcohol. Reason for that is I think the alcohol alone isn't strong enough, or it isn't quick enough. And the Mr. Color Thinner is actually quite strong, yet it doesn't melt the plastic at all. You can see that after soaking the parts for a bit, the paint just flaked off and just needed to be brushed off. This is all the paint that came off, and it's quite interesting that the paint didn't dissolve, it just remained like a, like a dry layer. All that's left to do now is the usual sanding and scribing the plastic parts. I've been waiting for just a moment, some time with you. But I'm impatient and you don't notice the way I look at you. I chose to put the same amount of effort into you like you do with me. Mm -hmm. I chose to put the same amount of effort into you like you do with me. That's why we don't talk no more. Don't talk no We don't talk no more. I 
So while I'm assembling the kit, I will just do a mini review of this project. So this project was a bit complicated because I had to remove the old paint job, disassemble everything, including the frame, to get the clear parts and LEDs out, then reassemble everything back together. But the resin kit was a joy to work on. I think I did too many conversions and full resin kits before, that now I really appreciate kits that don't frustrate the hell out of me. And I said this again and again. But this really is a great kit for a beginner if you're into bigger scale kits. Overall I'm really happy with the colors I use, especially the blues because the blue on the plastic is actually quite purple. But I wish I did a better job with the different shades of colors and the shading as well, as they're quite hard to notice in most places. There are actually three shades of blues and two shades of reds. And lastly, someone asked me if there's any difference uh, painting the clear armor instead of a normal one and the answer is no. The lacquer paints stick equally well on them. I'm not sure if it's the same case for you know water based acrylics. So with that all said, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. 
and I'll see you in the next one.